This video is going to show you how to go about getting Black Spindle and how to solo the Lost to Light specialized mission by yourself. Black Spindle is a good gun to have just for PvE standpoint. And this video is going to show you how to solo the Lost to Light mission with the Hunter. I already have a Warlock and Titan solo walkthrough guide and that video will be linked in the description below. In that video I said I was going to get around to doing the Hunter solo and it took a while for me to get around to it. So my bad for anybody that was actually waiting for it. But if you have multiple characters or you have a Hunter and a Warlock, Hunter and Titan or you have all three, do it on the Warlock or the Titan. I would highly suggest not doing it on the Hunter. It is the harder of the three classes to solo this uh, Black Spindle mission. So go check out that video if you have a Warlock or Titan because it'll be much easier to do. So for those that are not familiar, the Lost to the Light mission has a special mission, little mini mission inside of it where you can get Black Spindle. You used to have to wait for Lost to Light to be the daily. You don't have to wait anymore. Just pick it. It's on the moon and switch uh, the level difficulty. I think it's at 31. Go click on that and then switch it to the heroic modifier and that will allow you to do this daily. So you're just going through the mission normally. You go through the first room, do that door, and then you're going to do the second room and do this door as well. You cannot die. So if you're by yourself, you cannot wipe. If you're in a fire team, you guys can't all die. You have to go flawless up till the start of the Black Spindle mission. And once you're in that little mini mission, you can die. That's perfectly fine. But up to that point, you don't want to die or else it blocks you out of doing the Black Spindle side mission. I'm going to fast forward here. Just finishing up, killing some ads, seeing if I can get some heavy ammo and whatnot. So just play it safe, play it slow when you're by yourself so you don't have to rerun through the mission because it sucks if you have to do that. If you die, you got to you know go to orbit and do it again. So once you make it to the third room, you're ignoring all this. We're going up like we're going to face Tanix. This door will open and you're going to go up the portal and there is going to be three rooms, which I will get into those details here in a second. So if you are doing this on the Hunter, the Hunter is the only character you have. I'm going to do this on Blade Dancer. Primary, use whatever you want to use. I'm using a high impact scout rifle. I think high impact scout rifle is one of the best primaries you can use. You could use pulse rifle, whatever you want to use. You could use bad juju or Zalo supercell and run that with like a legendary sword or a different heavy if, if uh, need be. But I would highly suggest rocking an exotic sword. If you do have to rock a legendary sword, either rock Dreadfang or the solar sword. You could also use sleeper simulant if you wanted to, but exotic sword is where you want to go. And I like the void sword the best, but that's just my opinion. You can use solar. Do not use the arc sword though. And then sniper. Sniper is the way to go. You can use a shotgun if you want to, but I highly suggest rocking a sniper. And if you can have a sniper with solar burn because there are solar knights and you can one shot the knights. Now for what subclass I used. I used the Blade Dancer. Now if you did watch my Titan Warlock solo and you've been waiting for the Hunter solo guide, you know that I tried a bunch on the Hunter and it just wasn't happening. I'm not a very good sniper and you kind of have to have a really clean run on the Hunter and a good sniper. But since the April update bumped us up to 335 light, this is actually pretty easy now on the Hunter compared to what it was. And per suggestion of a commenter on that video, Amir Coles, thank you for the suggestion of using Showstopper and Encore. You know, I didn't really think to even really use that. And um, this is the setup. You can see the perks. I'm using Showstopper and Encore. And uh, those are kind of the two perks you want. And it does work well. There were some other commenters that suggested using Night Stalker and Bloodbound. But in the end, I decided to go with Blade Dancer. Doesn't mean it's the best option. The uh, Night Stalker or maybe a Golden Gun setup might be the better option for you. I just uh, picked Blade Dancer and it worked for me. You could also, instead of having Encore on, you could use Hungering Blade, which is, you know, you regen health as you're doing strikes. And then you could uh, use Mask of the Third Man on top of that to kind of use less super energy. But I decided to go with Encore and the Tarantula. I'm not really sure how much the Tarantella actually helps but I decided to rock it anyway. If you can, have sniper boots and a sniper chest piece. You also, before you start your run, want to make sure you have full heavy and are able to pop a pack. Because we jumped up to 335 light with the April update, I decided to have the sword be max ammo instead of max power from the R2 strike. 
So that's why I have 81. I would suggest doing that with the Hunter because you need all the heavy you can get. So this first room, this is when the timer will start. You'll have 10 minutes. There's going to be two orbs, one in the front right and one in the back left. You need to focus on taking those out. There's also going to be a knight you see there. If you have a solar sniper, you will be able to one-shot him. After you take out the second blight, that's when you pop your super, regardless of what class you're using. And you need to focus on taking out the centurion up at the front. He is the only ultra in the room, and he's very, very annoying. Once you take him out, try to get the knight. And another knight, if you can, there is three fire knights total in this room. And if you can take them out, taking them out with your super. Once your super's done, hunters, this is why I would suggest having a sword. You can just go ham with the sword and really clear this first room out very, 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 very quickly. Once you clear out the enemies, it's not too hard the first room. Get any ammo that might have been dropped and start sprinting. We're heading to the next part. As you head down these steps, you're going to have three adds spawn to the left and to the right. I like to use a grenade on this first sword captain and primary and try to clear out one side with just guns and a nade. And then switch to your sword. He threw up his stupid little bubble, so I'm going to finish the rest of these guys with the sword. It's kind of all about saving as much heavy ammo as possible and using your super and sniper ammo wisely. For the next room, there is three blights. There's one in the front that you see me shooting. I'm going to pause it real quick. There's a blight in the front. There's a blight on the right side of the room. And there's a blight on the left side of the room. We're going to go front blight, right blight, and then we're going to rotate to the left. You see the little wizard right there, right by the timer. There's going to be three of them in this room. There's going to be one in the middle, one on the right, and one on the left. Okay, so we took out the first blight. We're going to take out the second blight, and we're going to rotate to the left side of the room. You're going to get your sword out. There will be one wizard up here with these ads as well. Take that wizard out if you can with your sword. That's why sword's good. And if you can, try to take out that blight. I get <laughs> wrecked by thralls. And uh, yeah, thralls, the shadow thralls are very, 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 very annoying. If you die, that's totally fine. Don't feel too rushed. I know there's the, you know, the countdown and the timer in the left-hand corner, and you're going to feel rushed, but smooth is fast so i know there's a bunch of shadow thrall over there on the left side so i'm gonna find a, a spot on the right side of the room to snipe this left blight the second i'm done sniping this blight i'm gonna go and take out the right wizard with my sword i'm gonna ignore the middle wizard for now if this wizard is not in this hallway he will come into the hallway so just wait and he will come to you okay so we're done with that now I'm going to move to take out the middle wizard so no more shadow thrall spawn because they are super duper annoying. You could use your super right now, but instead of using my super, I'm going to use sword ammo. Warlocks, titans, hunters, use your super there if need be. Now you can take out the rest of kind of the ads on the ground from this hallway. You can even take out uh, this sniper from there. I'm just waiting to kind of recover and then I'm going to jump up and take out the three snipers on my right with my sword. Remember to use your block as well if you're low on health because these snipers do wreck. Taking out the first one and you have the bombs as well. So you have to be very, very careful up here because you can die. There's a lot of stuff that can kill you. Okay, so those three are down. And now we're going to rotate over to get this last sniper. It's a little harder to get up here if you are rocking Blade Dancer with the Hunter. He doesn't have the height that the uh, Titan and Warlock do. So here we go. We're done with that room. We're moving into this next hallway. You're going to have a uh, two cabal and then you're going to have a ultra sword vandal. I'm just going to use my sword on him. And then after this sword vandal or sword captain, sorry, you're going to have two solar knights down at the steps. This is where that solar sniper comes in handy. If you can aim, unlike me choking, <laughs> I did. Oh man, wasted ammo over here. But if you actually can aim and you're not, you know, terrible like me, uh, you'll be able to get those guys with the two shots. There's four waves in here. Make sure you focus on the blights. We're in the first wave. First blight's front left, and the second blight is middle right. Once you take out those blights, use your sword and use your super to take out these ads. You want to focus on the little ultra slash kind of bosses for each wave. And you see Showstopper, man. Showstopper's really, really good. You know, I didn't I didn't really think it'd be this good in this mission, but it really is, and it helps on these stupid scions that keep splitting. Once you take out the ads, as I struggle to take out these last couple guys that keep splitting because they're jackasses, use your primary 
You can use your sniper, but I only had five shots, so I decided to just use my primary. So there's four phases. We've completed the first phase. So we're just going to, you know, you know, do a couple little shots, a couple of shots, get us health down. Second phase is coming in. This orb will be middle left on second phase, one orb, and the other orb is in the very, very back of the room. I like to circle around the right side. I would highly suggest circling around because so many ads spawn over there in that line of sight. And you can snipe this orb from that uh, initial spot we were at where we took out the other orb, but I like coming down here and doing it this way. So once the orbs are down, same exact premise, guys. Go ham with sword. If you got your super, go ham with your super. Your super will charge fairly quickly because you're the only one in here doing this, killing all the ads yourself. Again, try to focus on the little kind of bosses with that wave. I know they're not bosses. As I die again, again, don't panic. You have more time than you think. So it takes a little while to respawn. It's kind of annoying. You're going to feel rushed. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure. So I'm going to pop a pack here. And again, I'm close to my super, but I'm going to save my super for that third wave. Now I'm just going to use my sword to take out the rest of the adds of this second phase. And then we will do more damage on the boss. If you do have an excess of heavy ammo and maybe some packs on the ground, then instead of shooting with your primary sniper, you can go up there and do a couple uh, heavy sword swings, and that will do quite a bit of damage to him. And then once the new wave spawns, you hear it spawn, then bail off of the platform back to the room. These stupid scions, man. These things, they'll irritate you <laughs> trying to do this solo. They keep splitting. Golly, I hate these scions. So I'm going to fall back up to the front of the room, just checking to make sure, okay, there's no ads left. I got 51 swings. I got my super. I'm just going to use my primary to do more damage on the boss. And you see he has a ton of health left. But the way I do it is first phase, do some damage. Second phase, do some damage. Clear third phase and then go ham with the sword and kill him as fourth phase is spawning. He spawns the phase kind of by his health. So you do some damage. So if you do too much damage, he's going to spawn multiple phases. That's why I always wait until after the third phase to do major damage because he can only spawn one phase. Okay, so here comes third phase. We're taking out the orb. One will be up on the catwalk up there. I always take it out from back there as I'm getting wrecked. I need to bail back to freaking cover here. Okay, so we got that orb down and another orb will be near the back of the room, but you can shoot it from this position. Again, you could go up there after first phase and just go ham with the sword and kill him, but then he's going to spawn three phases, and that is a pain in the ass. That means six orbs. So that's why I like doing, you know, all three phases, first three phases, then go ham with the sword, and that way he can only spawn one phase. So the boss will come down sometimes on the ground, but he'll teleport back up. I'm just working on taking out the centurions of the third phase, and then I'm going to use my super... Well, I'm going to use my heavy ammo here because I have a lot of it, but I will use my super to clear out the rest of this third wave of ads because I'm almost dead and I'm getting sick of these stupid scion splitting. Okay, we got two minutes left. That's perfectly fine. Let's go up here, use some of our showstopper on the boss, and then we'll switch to our sword and do as much damage as possible. Now, I am low on health, so I will end up bailing here because I did not want to die. If I had full health, I would have been able to kill the boss up there before fourth phase spawned. But the way it worked out, I just decided to bail and didn't kill him. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so we're on fourth phase. There will be a blight that spawns right in front of the, the kind of mini safe haven. And then the other blight will be back here in the front left half of the room. Since I wasn't able to fully kill the boss after third phase, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up there and finish him off and then clear the rest of this fourth phase wave. I see I only got a minute and 15 seconds left. I cut it really, really, really close on this run. This run is kind of sloppy and I died twice, so you are going to cut it close if you do die on your run. So here we go. We're just finishing off the boss. Finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. He's dead. Now we got to clear out the room with a minute left. We only got a few swings. Use it wisely. I see this captain. Okay, we're out of heavy. We don't have our super yet. We'll, won't lie. A little panic set in. <laughs> Hoping I had a pack. I see I got Scion splitting. I got to recover. I'm fall back. Okay, let's check if I got a pack. Do I got a pack? No, we got a 120 cooldown. <laughs> like I said, I cut this run really, really close, and it was a sloppy run. I died twice. But all I know is all I got to do is get my super, and I'll be able to finish off any ads. We got 30 seconds. I know if I take out this last captain, I'll have my super. Bang, got my super. Pop this bad boy. 
and show stop the stupid last few scions. And there we go. We've done it. You've done it. That's when Black Spindle will pop up. I've already done it on this character, so that's why I didn't pop up. I hope this video was helpful for people that only have hunters. Again, if you have a Titan Warlock, do it on them. I have that video in the description below. Like I said, do it on a Warlock or Titan. What the hell is that? I never noticed that before. What is this? It's like a tank hiding up there. There's another one over there. I have never noticed that. I have no idea what those are. But anyway, so yeah, so if uh, you only have a hunter, I hope this helps you get it done. It's a good gun to have. Have a good one, guys. See ya.